Hello everyone, in today's video we will discuss about DSB-SC transmitters. So DSB-SC waveform can be generated using two different techniques, one is balanced modulator technique and other one is ring modulator technique. So in this lecture our main focus will be on balanced modulators. Balanced modulator consists of two product modulators uh, arranged in balanced configuration like we can uh, see in here M1 is one product modulator and M2 is another one and they are connected in balanced configuration. This arrangement is made to suppress the carrier. These modulators basically consist of switching modulators or square law modulators. So up to this point uh, we are basically generating the DSB FC waveform only and suppression of carrier is being done at later stages. In this type of arrangement the modulators M1 and M2 are to be selected uh, such that they must be identical with each other. Herein both the modulators receive carrier in phase but the modulating voltage that is XT it appears 180 degrees out of phase at the input of both the modulators as you can see. Thereby the current outputs of both the modulators will get subtracted. Uh, for better understanding of this thing let us consider a circuit. So here is the simplest circuit possible for balanced modulator where modulation is being performed by these diodes D1 and D2. Herein the Vm is the message signal and uh, Vc is the carrier signal and from our last discussion we know that uh, Vc is fed in phase to both the diodes whereas Vm is fed 180 degrees out of phase due to which we will observe these currents ID1 and ID2 acting 180 degrees out of phase with each other or we can say that uh, total current I1 say will be subsection of these two currents ID1 and ID2. So let us uh, first try to figure out these two currents ID1 and ID2 at the input of D1 we will be getting Vc plus Vm as uh, one voltage and at input of D2 we will be getting Vc minus Vm. This is going to happen because Vm is fed out of phase by 180 degrees to D2. Now from our previous discussions we know that uh, current through a square law device can be represented as ID1 equals A plus B into uh, let us represent this with V dash and this I will represent with double V dash. So th this will be V dash plus C multiply V dash square plus more higher powers can be there where A is the DC component, B is the conductance and C is the non-linear T coefficient. Now let us substitute the value of V dash. So your ID1 will become equal to A plus B into VC plus VM plus C into VC plus Vm square we will consider up to square term only rest higher powers will neglect and why we are doing so that we have discussed in uh, previous lectures I will provide the link in description below. Let us mark this equation as equation number 1 on further expanding this thing we will get ID1 equals A will remain as it is B Vc plus B Vm plus uh, we'll expand this square a plus b whole square so this will become c vc square plus c vm square plus 2 c vc multiply vm so that is the current we are getting mathematically at the output of diode d1 in similar way we can write uh, the equation for current uh, for diode d2 it will be a plus b this time in in place of uh, vc plus vm we will write Vc minus Vm plus C Vc minus Vm whole square. Let us mark this equation number 2. Now further expanding this equation we will get A plus B Vc minus B Vm plus uh, expanding this square A minus B whole square we get C Vc square plus C Vm square minus 2C Vm Vc. So that is the current we are getting at the output of diode D2. 
Now, as we know the value of I D1 and I D2, we can have uh, this final current I, I1. So, I1 will become equal to I D1 minus I D2. Now, we will substitute these values in this place and this place. So, on performing subsection, we know that this term will go off. Likewise, this will cancel out. In similar way, we will have uh, this thing cancelled out. Likewise, this C V M square and C V M square will get cancelled out. So, we are left on with only two terms. So, the current equation will become equal to twice of B V M plus 4 C V M V C. Now, let us consider the value of V M V equal to V M sine of omega M T. Likewise, for V C it will be V C sine of omega C T. In next step, let us substitute these values of V M and V C in above equation. So, that the value of current I1 will become equal to twice of B in place of Vm we will write Vm sin of omega mt. Likewise, in place of uh, Vm again we will replace Vm sin of omega mt and in place of Vc we will write Vc sin of omega ct. Now, the expression here sin omega mt multiply sin omega ct can be reduced using sin a multiply sin b identity. So, that the equation of current I1 will become equal to 2b vm sin omega mt. We have replaced the vm with uh, vm sin omega mt plus 4c vm multiply vc by 2 cos of omega c minus omega mt multiply t minus 4c vm by 2 cos of omega c plus omega mt. Now, as you can notice this thing here is this first term is the message signal itself right. Likewise, uh, we can see the second term and third term they are the uh, two side bands one is lower side band I mean omega c minus omega m is the lower side band and omega c plus omega m is the upper side band and it is clearly evident from this equation that Career is suppressed as we were trying to generate DSB SC waveform only, means we'll have two side bands, but the carrier needs to be suppressed. So, this equation is actually fulfilling that requirement. Now, voltage equivalent for this current can be easily calculated by multiplying this current value with some resistance alpha. So, ultimately the voltage output voltage or modulated output voltage will become equal to twice of B alpha V m sin omega m t only we are multiplying the alpha likewise plus 4 alpha C V m V C by 2 cos of uh, omega C minus omega m the lower side band term uh, minus 4 alpha C V m V C by 2 the upper side band term omega C plus omega m t. Now, the unwanted frequencies or components can be removed by filtering operation means we'll have only the desired components at the output. As this is a DSB SC system or DSB SC waveform uh, we have to generate that means only side bands will be present rest everything will be eliminated. So, we'll filter out this thing by using certain filtering operations. And the final modulated output voltage V0 will be consisting of only the lower sideband values and the upper sideband values and carrier and other components will be fully eliminated or suppressed to some extent. The suppression of carrier depends on the properties of these two diodes D1 and D2. If they are made completely symmetrical, the carrier frequency will be completely cancelled or eliminated. But as we know, no system can of course be perfectly symmetrical in practice. So, by having this approach, we can heavily suppress uh, the carrier rather than uh, removing it fully. Even though we cannot fully eliminate the carrier, we are having some improvement in the power efficiency of the system as DSB SC systems can compensate for nearly 50 percent of power consumption by suppressing the carrier element. 
So that is all for now. Thank you. See you in next lecture.